Now to a story that we think is worth your time, and they are the words from our police chief, Chuck Lavelle, to the New York Times in an op-ed published today. He titled it, I'm the police chief in Portland, violence isn't the answer. As you probably know, Chief Lavelle is a black man who took the job less than two months ago when former chief Jamie Resch, a white woman, stepped down following criticism after the department, uh, on the, against the department after the death of George Floyd. He says in the piece, violent clashes have stolen the spotlight from peaceful protests and do nothing to further the Black Lives Matter movement. He also recapped the violence against police and emphasized some pretty disturbing crimes that we've witnessed in this city. He said, one night, for example, individuals screwed the doors of our North Precinct station shut, barricade other entrances, barricaded other entrances, entrances, and lit the station on fire with people inside. That was such a dynamic part of the piece. I wish I didn't stumble through it like I did because it was chilling to read and chilling to think of that happening in our city. It's stories like that that some of our viewers don't think we spend enough time telling. They think we have forgotten about the police in our city. I got this email from Maggie Turner. She wrote me last week and said, we are getting no reporting on the police side, i.e. their nightly experiences, how they are trying to quell criminal behavior, not peaceful. We have a bet you won't answer this on air or it will be an excuse. We'll see if I win the bet. Well, I don't know what you had up for grabs here, Maggie. I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be a push tonight because I'm kinda gonna do a little bit of both. See, police officers, frankly don't love doing interviews. When we ask, and we do often, we almost always get the police spokesperson or the PIO, the public information officer as they call them. We rarely get the specific officer involved in something or we'll end up getting a statement. See, police have to be really careful about what they say and reporters are a lot better at asking questions than the average cop is at being interviewed and they're worried that a detective or an officer without much interview experience could let something slip and jeopardize an investigation, which has happened before. A perfect example of, of witnessing this and seeing how it goes down are the officers being blinded by lasers. See, recently a federal official told us this. We have three officers who currently have eye injuries and they may not recover sight in those eyes from those lasers, laser attacks. But that's all we know, that sentence. No interviews with the officers, no details on the damage that they suffered or any follow-ups on their condition. Now, this isn't a criticism of their desire for privacy or the need to be deliberate with their words, only to point out how it plays into the overall conversation. You've seen the willingness of the protesters to share every detail of their stories, but you rarely see that from the people behind the badge. Now, back to the op-ed for just a second. The chief wrote, there are those who say the Portland police have not done enough to quell violence. I asked them, come speak with our officers who have been responding for two months to protests. And to that I say, we'd love to. Invitation accepted. I sent this email to Portland police asking them for a few officers to sit down with me to chat. I have a ton of questions. I bet you do too. If you do, send them to me. Use that hashtag, hey Dan. I agree with the chief. People need to hear their stories and we want to help tell them. I know you want to hear them, or at least you should. You can find Chief Lavelle's op-ed in today's New York Times. To us, it's worth yours.